Hello everybody, um, today I'm going to be doing um, a little share today of a tool I use to do small encodes and I think this will be very useful for um, a lot of people. This is pretty much the same as most GUIs, like me GUI and stuff, just this is more or less tedious at times when everything works how it's supposed to work. So let me just show you. So this will work for pretty much anything. This is called VAFE. I've been using it for uh, probably about a year now, or going on a year, and it's pretty, pretty efficient. Okay, this is the episode I'm gonna use. It's a one piece episode, as you can see the size right there, two seventy six megabytes, and just drag it in. Okay, here you see all the audio options, staff commentary, Japanese, English. I'm going to be doing a, another demonstration because you have a batch mode here. But right now, I'm just going to keep it simple. Also, you have subtitles. So if you want, you can do hard, cold, um, sub. I'm going to click that off and do a dub demonstration for you. Then I'm going to go to the batch one. And you have 10 bit and 8 bit, so that's great. 300 um, for the average bit rate. I'm gonna go with that. You have frame rate, you can change frame rate. What else? A uh, whole bunch of filters, um, resize if you wanted to. I always go with splint 36 or splint 64, multi splint 36. And what else could I show that could be helpful? I mean, that's pretty, I'm gonna keep the, um, everything the same. So let's get started. And that goes to your queue here and you just click start queue. As you can see it's recognizing the first audio track. Yeah, this is pretty useful. So I think it's gonna help out a lot of people out post some links of it so I think it'll be very helpful all right I'm gonna skip ahead so you guys don't have to waste time watching this and I'm gonna um, show the size output and how it runs and everything okay guys I'm back we have the new file and the old one 276 to 66 megabytes let me bring up Media Info. This is um, another tool I recommend. Media Info will be very useful. We have 1,230 kilobytes per second to a video file of 300. So right there, you can see a dramatic difference in size. This this is great for people that are streaming or have a very limited source of storage or trying to cut down storage. Okay, and this is the new file. As you can see, looks pretty good. Let's compare it to the old one. Yeah, you can't get any better for that, for that dramatic difference of um, size decrease. So, yeah, this is pretty useful. Um, switch to batch mode. Let me just show you. It's the same thing. You just can't go through your auto tracks and sub info like you could with the single input, as you can when I, when I had a video file at it, you will see it come up. Yeah, all these options. You don't have that too much when you go to batch, which is to be expected. When you you can put up to about ho however many episodes, five, fifty, you get the gist of it. And I think I'm gonna wrap it up as this. You know, audio settings. Hey, if you're doing low, stick to H E A A C, please, because um. Anything else probably sounds horrible size vorps. That sounds pretty good at low bit rates too. And H E A C here you can see to forty eight to sixty four. And if you're gonna go even lower to thirty two H E V two sounds pretty decent too. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Hopefully this has been pretty helpful for you and um give me a comment, let me know what you think of the program and you guys have a good one.